And we're back for some more Prithvi Raj. It is later in the day, or later in the evening, from when I recorded the last video. It's still Friday night. I still have nothing better to do with my life. Feels, feels Orn Luman. Oh shit. They courts to meet in border downs and wooded groves where they would embrace under the bright light of the moon. But for all their secrecy, the romance could not be hidden from the powerful Jaya Chandra and his army of spies. The mighty king would never approve of his daughter marrying his own rival. Instead, he ordered a Swayambara, a ceremony where Sanyogita would choose her husband from the men invited by her father. Jaya Chandra invited all the princes and kings of India to the ceremony, except for one. Almost one. In mockery of Prithvi Raj, Jaya Chandra had a clay statue made in the young king's image to serve as the doorman to his court. Well, that's right kindly of him. All right, Sanyo Gita and Prithvi Raj must survive. Uh, rescue Sanyo Gita and bring her to the wonder in Lal Kot. Kill or convert the elephants of the Yadavas. Win with at least 550 years remaining on the timer. This doesn't do anything. This isn't an achievement, or, and it, it literally accomplishes nothing. So I'm not going to be too, too worried about that. It's just weird. Like... You, you, the, like, the objective you get is just for winning the game quickly. But there isn't, like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. A large army would be noticed by Jaya Chandra's spies. Therefore, you're restricted to a uh, 50 pop limit and cannot construct new buildings. More, more units can be raised at friendly camps. The Chalukyas will also provide help if you reach their two towns. Monks and siege weapons will make even a small force much more effective. Protect these valuable, vulnerable, but helpful units. King makes his own path. Do not forget that certain siege weapons can help clear forests and open new routes of travel. According to legends, Prithvi Raj fought his way into Kanao, but there may be a way to uh, slip quietly into the city. Prithvi Raj intends to rescue San Yogita before she is forced to wed. He must reach Kanao and then bring the princess safely to Lal Kot before the season ends. Jayatandra guards Kanao and the paths to the city with a diverse army, but has no cavalry. Take advantage of the speed of Prithvi Raj's horsemen when they are fighting Jayachandra. The Chalukyas have two nearby towns and will aid Prithvi Raj with, in his quest with siege elephants and archers. They were in one of the last scenarios. Were they purple in the last one? I don't know. The Yadavas, uh, taking advantage of the Rajput infighting, have invaded from the Deccan. Their elephants and fleet-footed infantry dominated the south. We are in feudal age. But love will conquer all. Though there are many paths on your journey, the king makes his own way. Now it's like we insert the meme of uh, Gandalf in Fellowship of the Ring in Moria saying, I have no memory of this place. I, I remember very little of this scenario for some reason. It's not one where I can boom, so there's nothing worth remembering. Just kidding. So I remember being like a monk. Yeah, I get a couple monks here, including Chan, who is again just hanging around. He's he's just been hanging around in every scenario, but not like present. Anywho, what I do remember is that there is some elephants here. Come on! Phew. Anyway, if I recall correctly, there, we can get some siege onagers over here. And then we can use them to... <gasps> not die! Oh, golly gee willikers. Oh, 
Okay. Let's take down these guys, and we can get the Siege Onager. Oof. The Saharia warriors, which are exactly like the Sunda royal fighters or the Tungu warriors from those other campaigns. The Malay and Burmese ones. Anyway, we're going to use the Siege Onager to cut a path through. Because that's the one I did last time and it worked. Are you kidding me? Whatever. We have Prithvi Raj alive, and we have some of our other hero units, which actually have pretty good stats. 15 attack, 2-2 armor, 90 HP, and regen. Pretty fast movement speed for an infantry. I don't remember if we need to cut through again. Onward and upward. Oh, that was successful. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was some spazzy line of sight right there. Um, like the good player I am, I don't have anything hotkeyed. Heal him! Oh, well, that's one way to, to solve a problem. You know what, let's just send Prithi Raj ahead to scout. There's another elephant. Of course, Chandabur Bardai is not capable of converting for whatever reason. I guess that would be OP. The Sanchi Stupa. Anyway, I think if we go the southern path, I think we could get some ships, if I recall correctly. And I would not be surprised if I recalled incorrectly, because like I said, I barely remember the scenario. Well, they get some cav archers. Scary crocodile. I'm pretty sure there's like a transport ship around here. Indeed. I think yellow's over here? Yep. LA Archers. We're getting a rather nice army. Whoops, left these guys behind. Win with at least 550 years remaining on the timer. Yeah, that ain't that ain't happening. Oh god, they're so slow. They'll catch up. Whatever you do, see, Donager, don't attack the crocodiles. Oh, 
Oh, hey, more cavalry archers. I don't think they can connect with everyone else. That is some angry crocodile sounds. Anything cool that way, transport ship? It's a monk! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, no, that's the lol cop. Oh, rip that. Whatever that means. Oh, the Chalukya seem to be attacking Orange. There are a lot of tigers in this area. Okay, here's Kanaj. Now, if I recall correctly, we can do the old smash and grab. Except it's not so much smash, smashing as more of snatching. Because I think we can take the side path here, illuminated by these torches. Oh, we don't have to fight. Sneaky, sneaky. As beautiful as the lotus flowering from a midnight. Whoa, I thought we were being sneaky. Whatever. Sanyo Gita, who I would not describe as beautiful and rather kind of creepy looking, uh, only has 75 HP, so we do need to protect our, our princess. Whoa, did you guys see that's a, so there's just some camels? Are you serious? I forgot that we apparently need to make a transport ship. Oh, there goes Chand. What we call danger close. Anyway, um. So much for being subtle. Hey, some crossbowmen. Welcome to the party. Man, elephant archers are really underwhelming. They do have their uses. Unlike Ballista Elephants, which, uh, don't. But they are very situational. Especially when you have Imp Camels as an option. Oh hey, these two Cav Archers randomly survived. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and look at all the different paths we can take. And here's another one of Yellow Cities. Whoa! Maybe if we back up the truck a little bit, take the high ground. I could have gotten this a long time ago. Whoops. I, like, I just realized that we do have resources. That is an imp camel. But yeah, none of our Gaia units benefit from Fletching. Fight, Sanyugita! Fight for your freedom! Oh, hey, a Siege Workshop. Hey, some monks. Also, I think my phone is yelling at me. It is not yelling at me. I am going crazy. That's fine, we can take a few arrow hits. Sanyo Gita! 
Why are you... Okay, we're gonna heal you up, and then you can make the, uh, the trek. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. We'll convert those two imp camels. Or we convert this guy. Don't you... That required the monk conversion to be slow and DE pathing to fuck up. <sighs> Many dangers await you, my son, but love will conquer all. Though there are many paths on your journey, the king makes his own way. Just a little bit salty. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just made a little bit of a mistake, but that happens to everybody. It's just, you know, most people don't uh, post their failures on the internet. To be laughed at. Okay, there is the onager here, you gotta be careful. Seriously, the conversion had to take forever, and uh, the DE pathing had to scrub. Both of those things had to happen for me to lose. Need to snipe this onager. Let's go back to Chan Bardai. I don't even know if it's worth taking this thing out. Let's just be like this Buddha statue and just relax. Oh yeah, we can go ahead and convert the, uh, the first elephant over here. Okie dokie. I don't think we needed the Siege Onager for anything. Because we're going to need to transport at some point, and it seems like there's no way you can actually escape the, uh, the enemy units. So you can really only save, like, five units. Could probably do a better job of protecting Chand. Or, sorry, Bardai. Well, that was rather lucky. Whatever. Onward and upward. Well, at least we know what we're doing. Silver lining. Don't really need to attack these guys here.
Thank you, heating unit. Whoa, random spazzy. Whoa, whoa, what is that siege onager doing? I feel like I've, like, found a way to lose or throw when, on any of these scenarios that you, uh, don't get a base. <laughs> like, I feel like I always do so horribly on them. Oh, we already got them. Oh yeah, these two very important cav archers. I'd rather take the four elephant archers. Yep. But what we will do is, after we complete the scenario, finally, uh, we'll take a look at all the different paths we could have taken. Because obviously there's uh, several ways to complete the scenario. None of which involve uh, having Prithvi Raj out in the front, and then getting a really unlucky conversion, and then getting Prithvi Raj stuck by his own units. Just don't do those things. No! Run away! <laughs> the swarm of little karambit warriors. Protect me, Chalukyas! Anywho. Alright, Prithvi Raj. Go get your woman. Win her heart. And also the rest of her body, because you gotta get the gotta get the whole thing. Gotta gotta, gotta rescue her. See, like, I feel like I, I went as close to the edge as possible there. Again, I wouldn't say beautiful as the lotus flowering in a midnight pond. I mean, maybe I'm just harsh and mean and all that stuff, but, uh, I don't know. Transport. Oh, that's just the uh, timer thing. Man, this is taking a long time. Oh, what? Am I crazy or... I thought we only had five pop space in the transport ship last time. Am I in... I could have sworn we only had five. Oh, that makes me even more of an idiot for not taking those units over last time. I guess I could try sailing the ship up the river and avoid going overland. Let's see where the ship goes. I mean, it has dry dock and careening, so I mean, it, it can sail pretty far, pretty, pretty fast. Is Lakat on a river? Here's another dock. Not that it does literally anything.
Well, what do you know? Looks like we can't say sail directly to Lolcott. A fishing ship. Seriously. So I can gather fish from this river to slowly gather food for some reason. Those goddamn imp camels. We're gonna put you on no attack for now. Because our army's gonna be winning these fights anyway. I feel like I just made literally every... everything... <laughs> I did everything wrong. <laughs> Go ahead and convert the war elephant that's over here. It's so weird. Just gathering food from, like, these two fish. Alright, war elephant to ho. But, like, the docks literally prevent you from dropping off Prithviraj and Sanyogita. But we're almost there. Just like last time. Looks like they have ballistics. Rip the monk. Anyway, looks like we made it. It's not... Oh, yeah, these guys, they're real helpful. There's Sanyo Gita. Well, this went a little bit better. Fewer mistakes were made, to say the least. And happy, happy love time. Maybe one day you'll show yourself, Kimbasa. Well, that could have gone better. Well, we could have gotten like a whole little base over here. Oh, like some villagers too? Interesting. So you have the, you know, push forward, apply directly to the forehead type route you can take. You can also get some villagers here. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that one Evalo mission where you're like leapfrogging in the mountains. Kind of like that. One fishing ship. Sanyukita was as headstrong. Infinite courage of a Rajput princess. She walked through the royal court carrying the ceremonial garland and ignoring the expectant gazes of the her ceremonial suitors. garland war. Coming to the door, she defiantly laid the garland around the neck of the clay statue of Prithviraj, declaring him her husband. To her surprise, the young Raja had braved the dangers of his rival's kingdom to slip into the ceremony. Emerging from behind the statue, Prithviraj embraced Sanyukita. The two rode to Ajmer as the furious Jayachandra vowed that his revenge would be felt to the ends of the earth. Chibated. Whoa, I don't remember having a score this high. Uh, that's bugged right now. I guess we got distributed 40,000... Is that 400,000 resources?
Well, that was the Hand of a Princess. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next time will be one of the hardest scenarios in the game, The Fate of India. See you guys next time.